go inside and Bay tells me back in the day that this was her go-to store and I can't believe it bro like I was like there's a store out here bro like, <laughs> like civilization Shock, bro I'm in utter disbelief that we took down the Lakers have ended a dynasty let me repeat that the Los Angeles Lakers 2023 have defeated a dynasty and what's that dynasty of oh boy that was delicious right babe yes you know the place is good when you have to go Daniel's <laughs> <laughs> wings look delicious bro it's like fucking food network or some shit I think the best wings is here Ooh, I would say those are fighting words right there the hills have eyes. Oh my god. And like that creepy fucking gas station that's out of nowhere before. And they're gonna set us up like we're lost, babe. <laughs> and look, we look all tourists in a damn challenger. We'd be like, yeah, we're trying to get to uh, uh Hopi. Do you know where the nearest bone is? Nah, they're gonna <laughs> the nearest bone, babe. They're gonna say, yeah, you're gonna make a ride up to the mountains. <laughs> and it's just right over the hill. This looks like that shit right here, bro. Fine. Good morning, guys. We are somewhere so deep far to the res. I cannot believe that there is a store way out here, babe. What's this place called again? Um, Rocky Ridge Trading Post? Rocky Ridge General Store. All right, you guys, we made it over here to Hopi Culture Center. This is where Babe used to work right here. Right, Babe? Yeah. Babe used to work here back in the day at Hopi Culture Center. Babe was a dishwasher and a cook at the same time. And she was just about to start learning how to waitress, taking orders, you know? About to, but... Um, new, oppor <laughs> new, oppor new opportunities came. So this is where it is. We're about to munch out. We're gonna give this place a review as we always do. Right, babe? Yeah. So if their wings still pop. Man. Damn, this place has the best cheese fries with the cheese and it has the booby cake. I don't know if they still do booby cake, babies used to make booby cake back in the day over here. A Hopi hot beef. You guys have got to try their Hopi hot beef. You know, it's pretty good. It is what it is. Sorry. What was on a Hopi hot beef pub? Um, it was fried bread, roast beef, and mashed potatoes, gravy, and chili and sauteed chili and onions. <laughs> babe, I would come here on Babe's break and me and Babe would maybe to get like what an hour break? Yeah. Babe would get an hour break and I would come out here from Pinion because I used to I used to flip burgers, you know, over at Conoco. Shout out to Conoco right now. Everybody back home in Compton, Pinion watching this right now. Shout out to you guys. I used to work over there, babe. Used to work here. And yeah, man, we made this whole thing pop. And uh, a lot of good memories here. So I guess we can just walk around. Wait, they open up at 11, which is new. They used to be open all day for breakfast. I don't know what happened. But yeah, COVID probably did a lot though. You know, it changed a lot of shit around here. Yeah. Let's just hope COVID didn't change the menu. Hey. <laughs> all right, guys, let's go see what this restaurant has and uh, see what it has to offer. See right here, right here's the restaurant. I heard a brrrr, like a phone. Okay. 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 I'm gonna say food inspector. Yeah. Okay, babe. So, babe, you used to work here, huh? How is it feeling you being back here in Hopi Culture Center? Well, I was me. Yeah, you were, babe. You were. You were pretty big back then. I remember you. Hey. <laughs> been a minute i mean i remember back in the day i used to come here and see babe we used to have lunch right over here somewhere sometimes back here at the boots there's another part of the restaurant on that side we used to eat there and yeah there's a lot of good memories here it does look different though from the last time that we ate here and i ordered chicken strips with fries and a fry bread because that's like my secondary to get here babe got chicken wings and uh, cheese fries so we're gonna see how it is, and so far so good. The nostalgia when you come to Hopi Culture Center. <laughs> what change is probably that yeah. and the floors. And, the floor especially, especially the floors. and then in there, it has like a gift shop. Yeah, yeah, there's a gift shop. They used to be all lounge on, like all, all dining tables and stuff, but now it's a gift shop. Yeah, I used to bump Biggie in back there. Hey. Two pot. Two pot. Two pot. Okay, babe, right off the bat, is it still the same like it used to back in the day? Still the same. Daniel's wings look delicious, bro. It's like fucking Food Network or some shit. I think the best wings is here. Ooh, those are fighting words right there. Yeah. On this side of the res. 
right here's the fry bread I asked for honey I got the honey barbecue tenders and frost let's eat Hopi Country Center it's good bro this shit tastes like it used to back in the day man this is bringing me back to 2017 and this ranch this ranch right here you see how droopy and runny it is mm. it always tasted like that bro You guys type down in the comment section below. It was sex out of the section. You guys comment down below in the section if you guys ever had. Sex? Yeah, I accidentally said sex. Type down in the sex. So, so. <laughs> type down in the comment section below. And if you guys ever ate a Hopi culture sign, let us know. Bay, rate those wings. I see you're attacking that motherfucker. How do you eat for now? Is it good? Yeah. Those cheese fries are good though. Mm, mm, mm. Oh boy, that was delicious, right, babe? Yes. You know, the place is good when you have to go. <laughs> Alright, guys, we're heading back home. And uh, that was nice, bro. It's nice. Okay, so, come to Culture Center. You won't regret it. It's actually really good. I recommend the hot wings. Yes, I recommend the chicken tenders, honey barbecue. Honey barbecue. Yeah, and maybe that Hopi Hot Beef, remember they have that on the menu, that's like exclusive. Yeah. And open face burger, but then the menu changed though, the menu did change. I see some items that weren't there before COVID. Yeah, like the stew and stuff like that. When you guys come to the Hopi Reservation, there's not that many stores around this restaurant. But shout out to Culture Center because they sold Monster, Sugar Free, Ultra. And Gatorade. We are having a two hour drive home. We're far from home on the side of the Hopi Rays. I'm at the same power eight, thank you. Bro, are you guys watching what I'm watching, dude? Look at that, man. We smoking the Warriors, dog. Game six in LA, dude. I cannot believe it, dude. This is crazy, man. BLA, BLA, dude. Draymond Green, you a sore ass loser, bro, man. I hope you get cut. I hope nobody signs you because you a bad mouth. Mother talker, bro. Ain't nobody liking that in the NBA, dog. Nobody likes a trash talker like the way Draymond Green is. And that's a fact, bro. Him ah, yelling at the opposing bench. Like, dude, man, like, where's your respect, man? Where's your morals? You don't see LeBron doing that shit, dog. You don't see Giannis doing that, dude. You don't see Jimmy Butler doing that shit. I, mean, I don't know, man. Draymond, you a sore-ass loser. And as for the Splash Brothers, dog, there ain't no splashing in LA, dog. Good luck trying to get hot in Kobe's house. The house that Kobe built, Lakers. Look at that. I was just talking about him. He's right there. He's done, man. He's done. Let's go, LA. Go, Lakers. Denver is next. And I did call it. I did say championships are won by a good defense. I called it, bro. It's right here, dude. Denver's next, and I'm excited for that matchup, bro. I am definitely excited. I can't wait to see that matchup. And we're going to see what AD has and what LeBron has. I, I, I'm in shock, bro. I'm in utter disbelief that we took down. The Lakers have ended a dynasty. Let me repeat that. The Los Angeles Lakers 2023 have defeated a dynasty. And what's that dynasty of? It's the dynasty of Curry, Clay Thompson, Draymond Green, Iguodala, Whoever the hell else is on that team, the Lakers just ended that tonight, bro. There's gonna be major changes in their offseason, I can already tell. But go Lakers. Okay, babe, it's already rolling. Is the shot good? Yes. Pat good? Mm hmm. Smile good? Yes. Hair good? Yeah. Hair good? Balls good. good. Okay. Balls good. Balls good. <laughs> good morning, guys. We are somewhere so deep far to the Reds, I cannot believe that there is a Doorway out here, babe. What's this place called again? Um, Rocky Ridge Trading Post? Rocky Ridge General Store. This is the Rocky Ridge General Store and it's right behind me. Yes, you guys, we are in a secluded part of the Navajo Reservation. There is a store out here. We're gonna go inside and babe tells me back in the day that this was her go-to store. And I can't believe it, bro. Like, I was like, there's a store out here, bro? Like, you're from like <laughs> civilization. And we ain't too far from where our wedding is going to be happening at. So I've been in here once before, but it's been a long time since I've been back. So, babe, look at Pab. Hi. 
what can you say about the store here? Um, it's been a minute since I've been here. To Rocky Ridge? What, what do you, what, what's your fondest memories of this store? I guess walking from the school to here. You used to go to school and walk over here for your little snacks? Yeah. What else? So, <laughs> so are you telling me that this store right over there has been here since when? Since probably a long time. But it was here when I was here. Now that's impossible. <laughs> Ready, babe? Now we're just gonna drive off. Yeah. Not even going. Now we're gonna get business. Yeah. Imagine being on shift right now, looking out the window. Wiping the counter and you see two couples pull up in a white challenger vlogging like what the fuck is going on? I would have been suspicious and call you in. Yeah. Nay. If I was on shift, I would have been like, what the hell are these guys doing? They I've, sell gas here too? I think they still do. What the so. fuck? Let me see. I wouldn't even trust this. I wouldn't even trust that gas right there. <laughs> Look at that shit. That's really, really good, good, good gas. For some reason, that reminds me of like a, a horror movie, babe. Remember like, um, The Hills Have Eyes? Oh my god. And like that creepy fucking gas station that's out of nowhere before. And they're gonna set us up like we're lost, babe. <laughs> and look, we look all Taurus in a Dan Challenger. We'd be like, yeah, we're trying to get to, uh, uh Hopi. We know where uh, the nearest phone is. The nearest phone, babe. They're gonna say, yeah. You're gonna make a ride up to the mountains <laughs> and it's just right over the hill. This looks like that shit right here, bro. Find a bunch of RVs. Oh, on the other side of the cliff, like uh, till dusk till dawn, man. Yeah. This looks like it, bro. I mean, I'm not trying to diss, I'm not trying to disrespect, but I'm just saying there is a gas station out here, bro. I'm I'm bonkers, man. We're gonna go inside right now. Let's go check it out. Fancy ass shit. I Shout out to the Nipsey Hustle socks. Nip, nip. Store, baby. It looks really old. Vintage. It smells like mold. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, they got monsters. This is nice. It's a nifty little store. Not too bad. I mean, it looks cute, you know? Because if you're really far from any store, this is your... Oh, I think this is the storage. I think this is good. They have nice products. Look at that. Nice store. It's a good store. I mean, if you're far from Walmart and the bashes, I wouldn't mind coming here to buy my shit, you know? All these goodies, look at that, baby. You guys gotta come to the store, check it out. If you're in like our neck of the woods, that is. It's quite a ways from where we're at. Far from Shanto. Chips, all kinds of stuff, man. This is cool, bro. You were lucky to live near this, to come to this every day after school, you said, when you were a little kid? You was blessed, man. Walking distance from Rocky Ridge School. Bro, this store is closing down, you guys. This store is closing for good. I mean, I'm sad because that was my first time in a long time. Me and Babe going into there. When was the last time you've been in there, Babe? God, it's a couple years ago, probably two years ago. Remember, we went through here to the city. Yeah. Anyway, fuck, but that was cool, man. It was nice to go in that store, but they're closing for good in June, as that sign said. I'm kind of a little bit down, but we got a bargain on some snacks, the whole goodie bag down there for about twenty dollars and thirty-seven cents. I'm guessing because they're closing for good. Um, the lady that was working in there, she said it was open since maybe the 1950s, 1960s. I don't know, you guys watching this video, you guys comment down below 
when was that trading post built? I'm pretty sure somebody watching this says, oh, I remember that place. So just make sure you guys comment down below. I'm sure your grandpa built it for me. Hey, now we're gonna head back to the Hogan. Back to painting, right, babe? Right here. I think you can do the tap on this one. Or yeah, insert? Yeah. Probably. I think I insert. Damn, 255 bucks. Please remove your card. Babe. When it says approved, 